So you're feeling buff? Oh, yeah, so as I said, you come to the right session because we're doing weights testing. So yeah, we do look really strong doing one reps. But um, yeah, no, we've got a new strength and conditioning trainer this season. So it's been really good to see everyone improving um, since the start of the year. So um, yeah, very exciting heading into round one, knowing that we're nice and strong. And are you and the girls getting PBs or doing anything like that? I think so. I think everyone got a PB in their strength testing. And we did fitness testing a couple of weeks ago. And I think everyone was um, close to, if not getting PBs as well. And especially most of the young girls that have, um, you know, this is their first year in this environment, they're definitely PBing, so it's great to see all that as well. How do you feel the team's coming together ahead of round one? Yeah, I think, um, yeah, we're tracking where we need to be. Uh, Dan's really confident and we've um, played a few games and we've had mixed results. So I think um, we're just doing what we need to do and not getting too caught up in all that stuff. But yeah, I think everyone's training really well. Um, the coach is happy, so um, that's in a good place. <laughs> And just the mood, like it's getting close now to round one, what's the mood like around the group? Yeah, I think everyone's just really excited to get started. It has been a pretty long pre-season. We've had girls move from interstate and from you know, internationally to be here. So um, the excitement of being here in Adelaide and playing for the Thunderbirds for the first time, I think it's all becoming a reality now and it's getting closer and closer and everyone just wants to get out there. We've got a brand new uniform. So it's just, yeah, really exciting. How much are you looking forward to getting the English girls back? Oh, I think, yeah, they've been away long enough now. It's time for them to come back. So we've been keeping in touch with them the whole time. We've got a little, um, you know, group text thing going. So we've been keeping in touch and I think they're ready to come home just as much as we're ready to have them back. How much is it this first few rounds going to be a bit of an unknown in this league? Yeah, it is. Like, obviously, we have quite a new new faces in our team, a new team, and as do every other team in the competition. So I think the first couple of rounds will be just seeing who's who and who plays well together and, um, yeah, just making sure that hopefully we can get a good start and put ourselves in a good position for the rest of the year. Does it make it harder or easier? Like, is it kind of an anxious feeling not knowing what everyone oh, else is about? Or is it yeah, I guess you still, you still know players. Um, I guess you're just not quite sure how they work as a team. So you look at teams like Collingwood and you know they have amazing players but we have no idea how they all play together. So I think we can still do our preparation, we can still um, you know, come up with game plans against them and then we just have to go out there and tweak it a bit if things need to change. And away from you as well, have you looked on at the, the women's footy comp and uh, what have you made of that? Sort of yeah, that? well I saw on the weekend how there was sell, well, not sell outs I guess full crowds at, at the games and I mean that's great for women's sport that's what we've always wanted netball has always strived to um, drive that and drive women's sport to be equal to the men and I think it's great that um, we can jump on the success of the women's AFL as well and we can all do it together so the more the merrier when it comes to women's sport and it's really great to see the community getting behind them. So you feel it's more of a, a healthy rather than a, like a rival? Oh a yeah I've never seen it as a rival I think that you know if you're a young girl and you're growing up and you want to play elite sport well isn't it great now that you've got a choice and you can play footy you can play netball you can play cricket you can you have options so I think it's yeah I think it's great and Erin the captaincy to be announced shortly during the week um, would you like the captaincy oh look I'll like whatever the girls want <laughs> so I think I think that yeah we uh, do a team vote is what I'm assuming is going to happen so when all that comes out and yeah it'll it'd be great to lead this group of girls they're, they're a great bunch but I think um, the main thing is that everyone has comes with their own story and their own experience so together we'll be able to do it it's not just obviously going to be one person. And it's obviously a lot of girls here that um, some Adelaide fans wouldn't know that much about who are some of the girls that we should be looking out for? Um, yeah, I think uh, we've got a few Victorians coming over. So we've got, um, for me, Fiona Thiemann's had a really strong pre-season and she's probably um, been standing out in our in our games. Um, so I think she'll be one to watch, as well as Malasha Kelly, uh, Jamaican, who's come over. She's um, brand new to this type of environment and training every day or twice a day. So she's just, at the start, a little bit of a deer in headlights, but now she's just coming out and um, when she gets on court, it's white line fever. So I'm really looking forward to seeing her as well not to mention all our young South Australian girls who have been training with us every day and who have just been improving immensely so I think the South Australian fans they may not know them just yet but they'll soon remember their names because I think they'll be yeah pretty special for us this year Brilliant. Beautiful.